Hey there, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Always appreciate when you watch our videos. Uh, Pegg's behind the camera today because I'm going to do a little bit of cooking. I decided this morning that I wanted to make waffles, not just any waffles. I'm making Mickey waffles. Um, how much are Mickey waffles uh, down at the parks right now? About 10 bucks. So we actually have a few tools here that we've picked up over the years, and I'll get to the waffle maker here in a second. But we actually have a toaster that makes a uh, Mickey Mouse on the toaster. Put that off to the side. I have two different Mickey Mouse waffle makers. I have this one here, Mickey's Funniest Funnies Waffles, so that you can uh, do uh, Mickey on uh, uh, that way. And then I've got my other Mickey. This is one we're going to use. This was a present that we got from a friend of ours, Mickey Waffle Maker. So this is the one I'm going to use today to make waffles with. So we'll put that up to the side for just a second. I'm going to show you how to make Mickey waffles. And yes, I am going to use a mix. Um, and I'm not sure how these are going to turn out because this mix was kind of outdated, maybe six months old, but we'll see if it works. It should work fine. So I'm going to show you how to make Mickey waffles from the recipe on the, on the box here. So I'm going to move the cameras around and we'll make some Mickey waffles. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to be following the uh, recipe that's on the box of the Aunt Jemima pancake mix. There is a waffle recipe here and that's what I'm going to be following right now. Um, so what it needs, what it's calling for is two cups of Aunt Jemima mix. So I already have one cup measured already. So I'm going to put that in here and then I'm going to get another cup out. And I'm actually pretty good about getting close. Just about there. A little bit more. And there we go. There's two cups of pancake mix. I'm going to set that off to the side for right now. And then it calls for a cup and a half of water, which I already have measured out here. I have a cup and a half of water right here. I already have that measured out. So I'm going to put that in here. Then it also calls for a third of a cup of oil. So I'm going to measure out a third of a cup of oil. So I have, a, I have my oil here and I have a third of a cup is what I need. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do this a little bit differently here. So there is a third of a cup of oil. We're going to put that in here. And now we need to stir it up. And they do say after you get it all mixed up and beaten up, it's got to sit probably about four or five minutes before it's ready to, to make waffles out of. And then we'll use that time to warm up the waffle maker and get the waffle maker out. They want you to get all the lumps out. Basically, it's got to be lump free. So that's what I'm going to do right now is get this lump free. You know, and again, this is a, this, this uh, waffle mix is uh, just a couple of months outdated. So it should be fine though. You just want to get most of the lumps out. This is what I'm doing right now. Just trying to get most of the lumps out. Now you can use a wire whisk if you want. I just figured I'd use this because it was handy. I mean, I could have gotten the wire whisk out, but I didn't. But that looks pretty good right about there. So now it says let it set for about four to five minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set that off to the side. And then I'll set this off to the side for right now while I get out the waffle maker. So here is my waffle maker right here. And we got this as a present from somebody a few years back. And we've had it out a couple of times. So it's a classic Mickey waffle maker. So this is going to make a classic Mickey. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this down here. And again, here, there you go. We'll set that down there. And then we got to get it warmed up and ready to go. Look at that. That's the way it's going to look when we get it. So I'm going to start warming it up. And then uh, as it's warming up and the pancake or the well, waffle batter is setting, we'll let it set for a couple of minutes and be right back. The uh, Mickey symbol there on the waffle maker has to turn blue. And once it does, the waffle maker is ready to make waffles with. It's red right now because it's heating up. And when it turns blue, it's up to temperature. So 
You know, I will say that the directions with the waffle maker came actually with a recipe to make buttermilk waffles uh, and also cinnamon waffles. However, I'm using the Aunt Jemima buttermilk waffle complete uh, pancake mix and making waffles with those. Uh, Aunt Jemima, by the way, changed their name last year to uh, Pearl Milling Company. Um, so that's uh, what the Aunt Jemima is, uh, or you, Aunt Jemima used to be, is, well, Aunt Jemima, it used to be Aunt Jemima, now it's Pearl Milling Company. So when you go to the store, uh, you won't find Aunt Jemima anymore. It'll be Pearl Milling Company, but it's the same thing, same exact thing. I am just waiting for the waffle maker icon, the Mickey icon there to turn blue and that tells me the waffle maker is up to temperature. It's been more than six minutes, so we're gonna see what happens here. Spray the top and bottom. And then what you wanna do, is you wanna start in the middle Work your way out. Fill the entire, I gotta have a little bit more in there. You get the full Mickey waffle. Okay. And we'll see. You cook it until it stops steaming. I just don't think this is hot enough, to be honest with you. So your Mickey waffle will be done according to the directions when it stops steaming. So right now we're steaming. I think I put a little bit too much batter in this time, so we'll see what happens. So waiting for it to stop steaming. Once it stops steaming, it should be done, at least according to the directions anyway. And I think you're right, honey. I think I may have put a little bit too much batter in. We'll see what happens. What do you think? Stop steaming. Let's see what we got here. I did put too much batter in. But man, that looks good, doesn't it? I'm gonna try another one and see if I can get it with the correct amount of batter. So I'm gonna put that off to the side and load up another one here and try and do it right this time. And again, now I'm just going to let it cook until, uh, until it stops steaming and we'll go from there. You ready? Oh. What do you think? How'd that one turn out, honey? She's giving me a thumbs up. Actually, I missed the ear a little bit, so. So I uh, have my Mickey waffle here. This is my Mickey waffle. And I do have butter and syrup on it now. And I always eat the ears first. I don't know why I always eat the ear first. But I always eat the ear first. Hmm. Mm-hmm. These came out really good. And again, the waffle maker came with a recipe for waffles, but I'm using the... Uh, Pearl Milling Company, or well, the Aunt Jemima uh, pancake mix to make waffles with today. So the one that we've got coming out next, Peg actually made because she says I can't color between the lines, but I thought I did pretty good, but it's really good.